Neota Tucker has been an unsung hero of the legal profession for many years. Attorney Tucker was the first African-American female to graduate from the University of Georgia Law School in 1974, thereby opening the doors for many others to follow. It was what I expected. I'd gone through a similar situation in high school when uh, four of my friends and I went to Dublin High and we integrated uh, Dublin High School. Uh, we experienced uh, some of the same kind of isolation and um, I knew it would not be easy, but I thought it was worth it. There is no doubt that when you have the title as the first African American to do anything, not just to graduate from a particular law school, but the first African American woman to do anything, that you know that that person is of the character, that they have a lot of endurance and a lot of intelligence, and for her, a lot of compassion was built up within her. She served as staff attorney for the Georgia Legal Services Program as a legal turn with the Earl Warren Fellowship and NAACP Legal Defense Fund and recently retired as professor and in-house counsel at Albany State University. My freshman year I took a political science class and when I walked in and saw this female teacher I thought hmm that's different and she was a black woman. Here I was um, a first-generation college student from the rural south. I thought huh she's gonna be a role model for me. There were so many students who benefited from her work and I think one of the things that I noticed is that she helped them navigate the law school admissions process. Uh, sometimes things can be pretty arcane and complex and one of the things that I noticed that she did, not only did she help them navigate through the process, but she would take them on trips and visits to law schools and kind of uh, demystify the process, that this is a process that may be long and may be uh, sort of taxing, but it's not overly complicated. It was also her drive and passion that led to the awarding of honorary Bachelor of Arts degrees to former students of Albany State who were expelled for their participation in civil rights demonstrations in 1961. She set it upon herself to find those individuals and to bring them back to campus. Many of them didn't want to come back to campus, but it was because of their regard and their respect for Neota that they said they would come back to campus. People who are great quite often walk the world with the rest of us. And we don't look over sometime and figure that that person has done or accomplished all the things that they have done. If I had a dollar for every um, person's life she's impacted, um, every person's life she's had some influence upon, I'd be the richest woman out there. <laughs> Well, Neota, you know, I couldn't make it there in the flesh, but I'm with you in spirit because you represent for me all of my best memories of Albany State University. Congratulations, my dear friend, my mentor, my sister, Professor Neota Tucker. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute Neota Tucker.